Hey, hello, how are you? Welcome to Road Odyssey. Hope y'all are doing all right. So, I focus so much on Corvettes, I tend to lose track of all the news coming from Ford. So, this is, uh, you know, two quick news topics that have been buzzing around a little bit. Number one is a hybrid Mustang. So, there's the possibility of having two electric uh, motors up front along with the V8 uh, powering the rear. So this could be interesting. Want to get into that topic. Topic number two, you've probably already seen all the reveal videos and uh, from SEMA and all that of the new Ford DR, which the DR stands for Desert Racer. This thing is awesome. So ought to be a really killer car. And so I want to review that or look into it a little bit and just share what I find with y'all. So I hope y'all enjoyed this and here we go. Topic number one is the theoretical 2023 Ford Mustang Hybrid. It kinda sounds like Ford might be gearing up to release the S650 Ford Mustang as a 2023 model with two hybrid options. This information stems from a member from the Mustang 7G forum exposing evidence giving clues about this next generation Mustang. This information came from a LinkedIn profile discovered by a forum member. Analysis of the LinkedIn profile seems to give some confidence that the individual has worked on the Mustang as a product development engineer. The first part of what I'm going to call a rumor is that this new chassis is going to be coded as S650 and it will give the option of a 5 liter V8 or a 2.3 liter inline 4. The second part of this rumor is it will debut in 2022 and should be ready for model year 2023. A large assumption about the rumor is that Ford plans on probably using the electric motors in conjunction with the V8 or inline four, where these two electric motors will be up front on either side of the oil pan. Although this is a rumor, it is still known that there is a patent out for this dual electric motor system that could go in the front of the Mustang. Also, you have the Mach-E. A hybrid all-wheel drive Mustang would be a great enhancement to the Mustang, maintaining that competitive edge and just furthering the performance value and capabilities of the car. I would just like to add again that after reading the forum, my confidence in this reported information is fairly low at this time. Topic number two is the Ford Off-Road Bronco. The Bronco DR, Desert Racers, Ford's new off-road monster intended for off-road use only. The DR was revealed at the 2021 SEMA show and in this video. Mark Rushbrook, Ford Performance Motorsport Global Director, said in a press release, Bronco DR exists to give hardcore off-road enthusiasts a built-wild turnkey 4x4 to compete in desert racing events, including the unforgiving Baja 1000. The highlights of this car is between $200,000 and $300,000 off-road only. You need a trailer designed for desert racing competitions and hardcore off-roading, has a 400 horsepower V8 and lots of off-roading upgrades. This car will be built by Multimatic, the same contractor that builds the half million dollar Ford GT. The first 50 Bronco DRs should and hopefully will be available in late 2022. In 2022, Ford plans to race the Bronco DR at the Baja 1000 race in Mexico, 
should be interesting. Some, and I highlight the word some, features include no air conditioning, no normal doors, they are side panels similar to the Bronco R, no rear seats, no windows, 400 horsepower V8, the 5.0 liter Coyote V8, off-roading upgrades are pretty much the following, tow hooks, large tubular metal bumper, roof-mounted LED light bar, a single-piece grill, more flexible suspension, a lot going on there with the suspension, a full safety cage, and they've talked about a fortified version of the factory frame, a 65-gallon fuel tank, large air intakes to cool the rear-mounted radiator, and the entire body is made of fiberglass, a resin transfer molded RTM fiberglass. This Bronco DR really does look like it's going to be fantastic. Can't wait to see this thing in action. So, you know what? Let's keep our eyes open, watch YouTube or whatever else, and just see what happens with this car because it should be cool. Well, Thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope it brought y'all up to date a little bit, as well as myself. So, it was really fun looking into this stuff. Um, Ford has really got some great ideas going, and I hope this all works out for them. And I hope our economy, politics, supply chain, materials, and all that start, you know, getting back into order. Um... Because the world is a little chaotic right now. So I really hope that this Ford performance stuff and the hybrid workout, as well as Corvette, Dodge, and everybody else. A lot of cool stuff going on out there. So anyway, with that, relax, take it easy, and I will see you later. Bye.